$27,000 in medical bills if COVID-19 sends them to the ICU. Covered California Executive Director Peter Lee says many local yeah, insurance yeah. agents can help 85% of those people sign up for free state insurance. Find someone close to you, talk to them about what your incident, the doctors you've got, and the hospitals you want to go to. They can give you a cost that set aside, and their services are always free. Lee says people can either enter their zip code at CoverageCA.com to find an agent. Uh, he says people have until Friday's enrollment deadline to sign up and get covered by the first. When we come back, we're going to talk with ABC News correspondent Jim Ryan. Preservationists in Virginia have opened a time capsule that was planted beneath an equestrian statue of General Robert E. Lee in 1887. It was a copper box full of stuff. It weighed 36 pounds. But wait, there's more? Jim will tell us what that more is. Uh, right now, we need to take a look at your drive from the Southern California Toyota Dealer and Traffic Center. We make it easy. We've got a crash in Valley Village on the 101. Northbound side is the original path at Lower Canyon Boulevard. Still got this right. Three right lanes are shut down. I'm going to be a busy one for you. First thing as you come away. But let's put in front of the uh, 170 heading northbound on the 101. And taking your drive southbound 101, getting out of Sherman Oaks as you come away from the 405. Uh, heading into downtown. I'll let you 101. Looks like that's going to take you to uh, 101. Southbound is all right now. Uh, about 14 to 15 minutes for the drive. What's on 105 as you come off the uh, 605 out of Norwalk heading toward El Segundo, to over the Boulevard and LAX. Looking at about 15 to uh, 17 minutes for the drive there. And the westbound side of the 91 has an ultimate to the 105 west as you're making your way out of Ball Buena Park, leaving the 5 and start units for the 110, 16 to 18 minutes for the drive. Okay, if I and Sky helps get to their faster, I'm a calling your team. The holidays bring together friends and family, and this holiday season, you can improve your family's everyday wellness with a simple change. Give them the gift of quality water. A right social house water system provides filtered, delicious water from every faucet and shower in your home by connecting directly to your plumbing. And if hard water is a nuisance, you can reduce your hard water problems and scale builds up with America's most recommended water system. A light source water system filters out chlorine and added chemicals from your water. Your family can drink, cook, and bathe worry-free. And the best part? There's no maintenance of any kind. No filters to change, no salt to add. Simply install and enjoy. And for a very limited time, light source water will pay your sales tax. So don't wait. Call to speak with their expert service team. There's no middleman with Life Source Water. You get factory direct service and expertise. Call Life Source today and get full service and full confidence in your water. Call 800-334-5009, 800-334-5009, or visit lifesourcewater.com. Life Source Water. Taste and feel the difference. The news has been brought to you by Tough Turtle Turf, Southern California weather from KFI. Rain highs in the mid to upper 50s, cooler in the valleys and the Inland Empire. Rain and a chance of thunderstorms tonight. Thursday looks like it will be mostly cloudy with a chance of rain. Highs should be in the lower 50s to so around 60. Friday, oh, Friday, oh. a slight chance of rain on Friday with highs in the low to upper 50s. Sunny on New Year's Day with highs in the low 50s to around 60. So we're not looking at rain. But we are looking at some rain in Irvine right now, 48 degrees, it's 46 in Sacramento, 46 in Long Beach, 46 in downtown LA. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Chris Little. A full head of hair is a resolution you can achieve thanks to the same simple one-day treatment that I received from Advanced Hair. Celebrate the new year with a free consultation, $250 off, and 250 free hair grafts at advancedhair.com. The holidays are the most wonderful time of the year, but they can also be the most stressful. And with the threat of COVID-19 still looming, emotions are high and can be overwhelming. Cal Hope can help with free emotional support for you and your loved ones this holiday season. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. Hurry into Mattress Firm's year-end sale. Get a king bed for a queen price. Or queen bed for a queen price. And save up to $500 on select mattresses from Steely, Serta, Sleepies, and more. Plus, get a free adjustable base with qualifying purchase. 
Why not give your loved ones a healthy air holiday? This Christmas, show your appreciation by helping them enjoy the healthy benefits of clean air. IQ air purifiers capture up to 99% of airborne particulates using patented industry-leading hyper-HEPA filtration technology. IQ air's high-efficiency air purifiers filter smoke, pollen, dust, mold, bacteria, and viruses as small as 0.003 microns, the smallest airborne particles that exist. IQ air delivers immediate clean air directly to your breathing zone with a portable, award-winning Autumn Series 5-in-1 system. For the desk, the car, on the go, set up as easy anywhere there's a flat surface. For the whole home, IQ Air offers the ultra-quiet Health Pro Plus Series, the number one air purification choice for asthma and allergy sufferers. Your friends and your family will love the confidence that comes from taking back control over their environment and from breathing clean, filtered air. Go to IQAir.com slash US or call 877-778-7324. IQAir.com slash US or 877-778-7324. Visit MechanicCars.com before you purchase your new automobile this holiday season. KFI AM 640. Oh, it was that big. Okay. Right. Well, it's a bullet. 
Yeah, so they got to so the bomb squad x-rayed the box and they could see books and they could see some ammunition and, and the other stuff in there. Uh, they opened it up and found it was just a fragment of that shell. It wasn't an actual whole uh, cannonball, so it wasn't live ordnance. So yeah, everyone walked away just waving their hands in the air like, what the heck are we doing out here? Out here. Uh, so this box weighed uh, 36 pounds. I'm assuming it didn't just pop open. No, it did. And for, for the reason, I mean, they sealed it up very well when they put the thing in the ground. It was copper. Uh, the, the box and its contents weighed 36 pounds. And its contents, you know, comprised it, it damp books and documents and things. So a lot of the weight was what was inside. And the box itself probably weighed, you know, 12, 15 pounds or so mm -hmm. of, of copper. And they were smart because that uh, repelled water. It also repelled any kind of bugs or sort of uh, mold that might have grown inside the box. Mm -hmm. uh, they opened it up and one of the historians said it, it doesn't reek nearly as badly as a lot of other time capsules I've opened up. Oh, that's interesting. And I, now, you said earlier there was a um, an article in the paper about what was buried in the box. Did it say where the box was buried? Yeah, well, it gave the general location as mm -hmm. being on one corner of the foundation of this uh, monument. Uh, under the time um, zone, so they had a pretty good idea of where it was. So, but at the same time, when the when the time capsule was found last week up in the pedestal, uh, a lot of historians thought, well, I guess this is what they're talking about. Uh, uh, there's, there's nothing that was in that box that was in the newspaper article from the time. So, mm -hmm. the thinking was that there was a second one. It's thought now that the first uh, time capsule was put inside the pedestal by the builders of the monument. That he, the guys who, you know, were contracted to build this thing thought, you know what, let's put our own uh, monument or our own little pine castle mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. the granite block. So they did. And, uh, yes, that's that's it. It. and that and that ended up boring everybody. That one. It did. And even the stuff in the, the box that was open yesterday, it didn't contain anything super rare. You can get oh, it so so money, you can buy the stuff in collectors and have it in, in their possession. And it, it, but, but it does give us a snapshot of what people were considering at the time. So I think it's oh, very useful in a sport of historical time. They must be thinking about, man, I've got to put something in that box. What have I got? Oh, here's a coin. Uh, here's a Bible. I'm not reading it anymore. Uh, here's a photo. I was interested in a photo uh, uh, of Lincoln after his death. So he died in 1865. Uh, so that was like a 22-year-old image. Yeah, well, they were at the time. Senior, at the time, but it wasn't. They, it wasn't an actual photograph at all. At least not what they found. Um, there was a a uh, photo from Harper's Weekly. It was an, it was actually a Thomas Nash illustration from uh, a few years before the dedication of the monument there. So it had kind of been folded up and put away and then put into the uh, time capsules. It wasn't in super great shape in the first place, but it was a picture or an illustration of Lady Liberty weeping over the casket of Abraham Lincoln, the closed casket of Abraham Lincoln. So it wasn't a photograph and it wasn't, I think, that advertised. There was a photograph inside the box, but we haven't uh, heard yet what that photo was. Well, what's the holdup? Well, they've got to uh, preserve everything. Everything was taken out of there. The documents, many of them are being frozen. Uh, oh. That's part of the preservation process. Uh, they, they, there's blotter paper being put between the pages of the books and the other documents that were there to ensure that they dry out properly. So uh, a lot of this stuff we won't really see much of until the preservation is done. But then I suspect a lot of it will go on display, including the box. Yeah, but while they're preserving it, they got to look at the stuff, right? If they're going to put sure. blotter paper in there, they, they can look on uh, the pages on both sides of that piece of paper and then give us a little hint of uh, what's going on, but I guess they're not into that. Well, they, they did disclose a lot uh, yesterday. Well, we want more. <laughs> well, we'll get more, I'm, I'm sure, as they continue this process of looking at everything. Yeah. And it's interesting stuff. Yeah, and so uh, what are the plans for the bounty? Where is it all going to wind up? In, it'll stay there in Richmond. It becomes the property of the, the Commonwealth of Virginia, mm -hmm. and so that's where it'll stay. Virginia Department of Historic Resources, the laboratory there at Richmond, they'll handle the preservation and uh, restoration if they need to, and then at some point this stuff will likely be put on display somewhere. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, they have a lot of historical stuff back, back there. They have a special place for, you know, uh, time capsules and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, absolutely. The, 
the, the blood of paper, that the silica gel is being put onto the, the time capsule itself to preserve the copper. Oh. Uh, so they're handling everything very carefully. It looks almost like a, 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 an operating room as they were opening the stuff up yesterday. It was live streamed to the world. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I saw a photo and there were a ton of cameras in there. And yeah. it, it's interesting to me because um, you know, when I was a kid, we made time capsules, so we, you know, put in a pen or uh, you know something, and then we stick it in a, uh, you know, in the side of a building in a school, and um, I, with a predetermined time, I think, of somebody's going to come in and discover the time capsule oh, okay. do. It's just a bunch of stupid stuff that the kids put in there, but apparently it's a little more interesting. A couple of weeks earlier, yeah. Just not yeah. much change in the 12 days since they put it in. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, Jim. Well, th uh, thanks a lot. Uh, oh, hey, have you ever put anything in a time capsule? Uh, I think I did the same sort of dumb stuff that you guys did. Put a shoebox of stuff in it, bury it in the backyard, and then you know, get curious 10 or 12 days later and, <laughs> and dig it up. It just, it was stupid. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, thanks, Jim. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. All right. See you. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, back to some of the stories we are uh, working on in the 24-hour KFI newsroom. The parents of that 14-year-old girl who was accidentally shot by police in North Hollywood say they want transparency uh, as the shooting is investigated. The girl's family attorney, Ben Trump, read a statement uh, from the girl's mother during a press conference yesterday detailing what happened. Uh, the mom says after her daughter was shot, police did not initially up to help. When the police finally came, they took me out of the dressing room and left my daughter laying there. I wanted them to help her, but they just left her laying there alone. Attorneys for the girl's parents say they want all the evidence around the shooting to be made available. They say there is more video than what has been released. The pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong has suffered another setback. Stand News online media outlet says it will cease operations. Police raided its offices and arrested six people in charges of conspiracy to publish a seditious publication. Oh, and here's Ben White's secret for uh, living to be 100. Um, by the way, you want to send you a gift? You got till January 17th. Betty White will be 100 on January 17th, and uh, she told People Magazine that one of her secrets to aging gracefully has been maintaining her sense of optimism. Uh, she said that it's a choice. She gets up every day and decides to be optimistic, and it apparently works. Um, she wakes up every day, like I said, and chooses to be optimistic, and she likes to be bubbly, and she also does crossword puzzles, uh, watches animal documentaries, watches Jeopardy, plays card games, and she golfs. So uh, she also says she tries to avoid anything green. And I think she was joking. So there you go. Betty White, her secrets for living to 100. Happy birthday on January 17th. When we come back, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas paid a rare visit to Israel on Tuesday for talks with Israel's defense minister. Israel's new prime minister opposes Palestinian independence and has ruled out formal peace talks. But this meeting was aimed, they say, at reducing tensions between the two sides. So we'll get the latest on that from Tom rivers in just a few minutes plus we've got your traffic and the not quite forecast coming up on your wake up call but first let's go to nick we've got a crash in corona on the 15th that's right on the southbound side uh pascal code a little bit of good news it's been clear to the center divider so the drive really not too terribly bad for you as you make your way through the valley village area also good news for you here if the crashes of the three right lanes shut down they have reopened and drive pretty much back up to speed and also early problems wrapped up in tustin and uh, traveling along tustin ranch road southbound from jamboree to pioneer it was a crash that had all lanes shut down pretty much for the overnight and early morning hours but uh, they have reopened so think a bit of a oh, right. they want to plan for jamboree uh. just to save a bit of time this morning okay if i in the sky helps to their faster, I'm Nicolio Kini. Every year, our team provides food and toys for less fortunate families. Hello, my name is John Aquan, owner of Ruder Hero Plumbing. I remember one Christmas when my dad didn't have my any work, so and we didn't have any money. I can still recall the look of shame on his face when my brother and I only had one present to open. I was a brat and said something I shouldn't have. To this day, I am still sorry for what I said to my dad. I was selfish, and I wish I could take it all back. So I know what it's like for some families. At Ruder Hero Plumbing, we want to make Christmas special. So all this month, 
We are donating a portion of every plumbing and drain cleaning service we do to families in need. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from our family to yours. Thank you. Everybody needs a hero. Wonder hero come. CL 1028886. This report is paid for by NHTSA. Do you think it's okay to drive stoned? The truth is, your reaction times slow way down when you're high. You not only put yourself in danger, but everyone around you. If you've been using marijuana in any form, do not get behind the wheel. If you feel different, you drive different. Drive high. Get a DUI. Paid for by NHTSA. Colin Cowher, here's what's trending for my heart sports network presented by Mercedes-Benz. Matthew Stafford and the NFC West leading Rams will try to win their history game Sunday on the road against the Ravens. The Rams are ranked fifth in ESPN's latest NFL power ranking, and they need Cooper Cup as the team's MVP this season. The sports world was the true legend and icon yesterday with the passing of John Madden. The former Super Bowl winning coach, Emmy Award winning commentator, and pro football Hall of Famer was at 85. I'm Bill Hurt. Groundbreaking runs in the family. Safety runs in the family. Extraordinary runs in the family. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz range of SUVs. Every member is waiting to impress. Learn more at mbusa.com. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge I'm, is getting I'm your hands on this money. This is a bureaucracy. Innovationrefunds.com cuts through the red tape, helps you get the cash. They do all of the legwork. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get for you. They got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to InnovationRefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, InnovationRefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. InnovationRefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. InnovationRefunds.com. Watching tax player calculate your refund feels like climbing to the apex of a roller coaster. And flying down the track. And maximum refund speed. Start for free and get your guaranteed maximum refund. Tax player, file fearlessly. Your Marines Honda Superstore has your roadmap for a super holiday upgrade during Happy Honda Day. Return your Honda lease to one of our five Honda lease return super centers or swap your old ride for a brand new Honda. And with more vehicles arriving for the holidays, you'll get a super selection and a super experience. Every new normally Honda is backed by our exclusive price protection guarantee, which states if you can find the same new Honda for less within five days, your Marines will pay you the difference or buy your vehicle back. Discover the joy of the season and upgrade at Norm Reigns Honda Superstore during Happy Honda Day. Visit our super award-winning Norm Reigns Honda Superstore location in Huntington Beach, West Covina, the Irvine Auto Center, and the number one Honda store in the world in the Cerritos Auto Square. Plus, we're now open in Vista. Shop online at NormReigns.com. Ask for Global Honda New Vehicle Sales 2020. Hey, Paul Malone. Borrow smart. Our 2021 iHeart Radio Music Festival, the ultimate once-in-a-lifetime music event, is coming to the CW. The biggest superstars in music finally step back on stage. Featuring Coldplay, Billy Eilish, Dua Lipa, J. Cole, Khalid, Darius Rucker, Chief Chris, Journey, and more. Music Festival, 14 at one stage, one television network. Watch tomorrow night at 8, 1270 morning at 1230 on Disney 85 with CW. Portions of the following program will be recorded. Hey everybody, it's Dean Sharp. Here's a tip on how to up your landscape lighting game. Did you know because of the rods and cones in our eyes, we don't see color as well at night? So add a green color filter to the floods that are lighting up your trees, and they'll look as lush at night as they do during the day. Home with Dean Sharp, the house with birds. On KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Jennifer Jones.
Jones Lee is on vacation. This is your wake up call. And Chris Little, Long Beach Police Chief Robert Luna has tested positive for COVID 19. The police department says Luna is isolating at home. They say he's in good spirits and he believes his symptoms could have been much worse if he were not vaccinated and he's about to retire. Tony Winnie actor Hugh Jackman has tested positive for COVID, according to a video that he posted on social media. Looks like just about everybody is testing positive for COVID. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas paid a rare visit to Israel on Tuesday for talk with Israel's defense minister. It was his second meeting with uh, the defense minister, Benny Gantz. Uh, Israel's new prime minister, though, uh, Naftali Bennett, opposes Palestinian independence and has ruled out formal peace talks. But this meeting apparently was aimed at reducing tensions between the two sides. ABC's Tom Rivers is with us. Hi, Tom. Where did they meet? And was there any reduction in the tension? Yeah, they met at uh, the private residence of uh, Benny Gantz, uh, the outskirts of Tel Aviv. And uh, the optics were good. Uh, as you say, it was the first time that uh, Mahmoud Abbas has held a meeting with a senior Israeli official on Israeli soil for what, 11 years? Yeah. Uh, so that's good. But again, you have to go back to uh, you know, the Israeli Prime Minister Bennett. He does not want to go down the road of even contemplating a two state solution. So what, you know, what's going on? It's kind of, you know, a domestic, if you will, kitchen table kind of issue, just to, uh, if you will, increase security coordination between Israel and uh, the Palestinian Authority in the West Bank, and uh, a confidence building measure as well. Um, example, uh, Israel collects taxes, and uh, tax payments for the Palestinian Authority has been held up. We now loosen that up, get the money to, uh, to the PA. Yeah. Also, authorization of hundreds of permits for Palestinian merch. So you yeah. kind of day in, day out kind of thing, but not, if you will, you know, the yeah. opening gambit of a, of a yeah. new piece in this form. Yeah. That is not what this is about. Yeah, and it seems like that is never going to happen, at least if you uh, listen to Bennett, who is, has said that... Uh, uh, Palestinian statehood would be, as you put it, yeah. a terrible mistake. So, um, you, you know, yes. I guess it seems to me, and this is maybe has always been this way, that one part Dude, of the government yes. is doing one thing and the other part of the government is uh, doing another thing, and they're both winking at each other. But is there ever, you know, any idea to come to a peaceful conclusion? Or what is the idea? Oh, yeah, I mean, there's two state solutions that are out there for decades and decades. Uh, yeah, you know, it's very it's, 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 it